This day the Lord who is all-powerful tells you, My beloved child, you are the one I have selected and called for a reason. You should have a plan for your life that aims to bring about positive changes in everything. Though you might be perplexed or disheartened, never forget that I have called. Better times are on the way. You're getting rid of debt. Your well-being will increase. There will be a job for you. The test will be passed by you. The pain, the tears, and the restless nights are almost over. You'll come across the ideal person. You're going to get blessed. I'm going to shower you with blessings that will make you forget all that has happened to you, including who injured you, what you lost, and what wasn't fair. A double dose of adversity has come your way. But you're also about to get a double dose of flavor. Even at the darkest moments of your life, maintain your faith. God is our strength and haven. He is a great assistance when needed. Never forget that God is at your side. He is paving the road. Remain persistent. I am aware that there are attacks on your relationships, health, and finances. That simply indicates that your breakthrough is almost here. You and your family are the targets of an enemy declaration of war. However, I have pronounced blessings, healing, serenity, and victory over your life. Furthermore, my word is final. Thus, rise and begin your day. Take heart, because the favor for which you have been asking is right outside your door. Simply open the door. Like the video if you need God direction, I invite you to come to me and discuss whatever it is in your life or thoughts that is causing you to feel anxiousness. You should bring your prayer and petition to me with gratitude, saying something along the lines of thank you, Jesus, for this opportunity to trust you more. In spite of the fact that the lessons of trust that I communicate to you come with a number of challenges, the advantages much exceed the disadvantages. To name just one of the many blessings that will come to you as a result of your well-developed trust, I will grant you my peace. In proportion to the degree to which you put your faith in me, I have pledged to keep you in complete tranquility. The world is teaching that peace is the result of having sufficient money, things, insurance, and security systems. This is a fundamental understanding that is fundamentally flawed. My peace, on the other hand, is such a gift that it is not contingent on any conditions since it is really all-encompassing. Even if you lose everything else, if you are able to obtain my peace, you will be extremely wealthy. Were you to come to me for rest and refreshments, the trip has been too much for you and you are exhausted to the point of bone fatigue. Take no pride in the fact that you are exhausted. Instead. Look at it as a chance for me to take control of your life and the decisions you make. It is important to keep in mind that I am able to incorporate everything into a pattern. This includes the elements that you wish were different. Begin with the current location you are in, both in terms of time and space, and acknowledge that this is the place I desire for you to be. One step at a time, one moment at a time, you will see today through to the end. You have the primary task of remaining alert to me and allowing me to direct you through the numerous options that are available to you along your path. This may appear to be a simple project, but in reality, it is not. If you want to live in my presence, you are going against the grain of the world, the flesh and the devil. The fact that you are always engaged in combat with these adversaries is the primary cause of your exhaustion. You are, however, following the route that I have chosen for you, so do not give up. Please type Jesus is the Supreme King. Please have faith in me, for you will once more glorify me for the assistance that I provide. I invite you to come to me with an open mind and a desire to be transformed. For those who walk closely with me, life is a life of unending freshness. As you usher in a new year, you should not cling to the ways of the past. Instead, seek my face with an open mind, taking into consideration that your journey with me will involve the renewal of your mind, which will result in your being transformed. Be conscious of the fact that I am paying complete attention to you as you direct your thoughts toward me. 
I keep a steady watch on you since I have a limitless capacity for paying attention to things. From the depths of my heart, I know and comprehend you entirely. My thoughts envelop you in an everlasting love. Additionally, I am aware of the plans that I have for you, which include plans to provide you with hope and a future, plans to protect you and not to cause you harm. Engage in this journey of deepening your sensitivity to my presence with complete and utter dedication. Stay with me and listen to me. Become attuned to my voice and you will be blessed with the most abundant blessings. As you sit in the convenience of your own home, contemplate the awe, inspiring experience of having a conversation with the one who created the universe. Common people rarely never have the opportunity to interact with kings who rule on earth since they have a tendency to make themselves inaccessible during their reign. In order to communicate with royalty, even dignitaries are required to go through the necessary formalities and procedures. Despite the fact that I am the king of the universe, I am completely approachable by you. Wherever you go, I am right there with you. There is nothing that can set you apart from my presence. At the moment that I proclaimed, it is finished. As I was hanging on the cross, the curtain of the temple was ripped in half from the top to the bottom. This made it possible for you to engage in a face-to-face -face encounter with me without the need for any formalities or clerics. You may always count on me, the King of Kings, to be by your side. Put Amen in the box if you have faith in God. There is no location that is so deserted that you will not be able to locate me there. During the time when Hagar was running away from her mistress, Sarah, into the wilderness, she believed that she was completely abandoned and alone. On the other hand, Hagar came across me in that barren location. She addressed me as the living one who sees me in that particular instance. It was through that experience with my presence that she was able to muster the fortitude to go back to her mistress. It is impossible for any collection of circumstances to ever separate you from the loving presence of God. It is not only that I always see you, but I also view you as a saint who has been redeemed and who shines gloriously in my righteousness. The reason I take so tremendous pleasure in you is because of this, and I sing my heart out over you. To become more powerful in the presence of my presence, my face shines upon you, and when it does, you acquire nutrients that improve your growth in grace for the better. I created you to communicate with me in person, and the act of doing so deepens your spirituality and makes you more powerful. The experience of such communion offers a taste of what lies ahead for you in heaven when all obstacles that stand in the way of your relationship with my glory will be erased. This time spent in meditation with me bestows upon you a double blessing. First, you are able to feel my presence in this very moment. And second, you are filled with the anticipation of heaven, where you will be able to know me with exuberant joy. Allow the dew of my presence to revitalize both your physical and mental state. In this dynamic and complicated world of immediate communication, there are a multitude of items that are vying for your attention. Since I've given the instruction to be quiet and know that I am God for the first time, the world has undergone a tremendous amount of change. Having said that, this timeless truth is absolutely necessary for the health and happiness of your spirit. In the same way that dew revitalizes grass and flowers during the stillness of the night, my presence revitalizes you as you sit quietly with me. When one's intellect is renewed and refreshed, it is able to differentiate between what is significant and what is not. Your mind has a tendency to become preoccupied with insignificant stuff while it is in its normal state. In the same way that the wheels of a car that is stuck in mud spin aimlessly, the gears of your brain spin ineffectively when you concentrate on something that is unimportant. As soon as you begin conversing with me about the subject, your thoughts will begin to gather traction and you will be able to move on to more essential matters. By maintaining constant communication with me, I will be able to implant my ideas into your being. 
The joy of being loved in a way that is both constant and perfect is the treasure that I want you to experience as a result of your redemption. Making a habit of evaluating yourself based on how you look, how you behave, or how you feel is something that you do. This makes you feel a little more deserving of my love if you enjoy what you see when you look in the mirror. You will find it much simpler to accept the fact that you are my cherished child when everything is going according to plan and your performance appears to be satisfactory. Whenever you are feeling disheartened, you have a tendency to search inward in order to find a solution to whatever is wrong. Focus your attention on me, the one who is the lover of your soul, rather than trying to fix yourself. Instead of using your judgment to judge yourself, you should aim it toward glorifying me. Type, thank you God if you believe. It is important to keep in mind that I see you dressed in my righteousness and shining brightly in my perfect love. In every aspect of your being, I want to be the focal point. When your attention is fixed on me, my peace will take the place of your anxieties and concerns. You need to remain vigilant because they will surround you and try to gain access to you. It is important to let trust and gratitude serve as a guard, preventing fear from gaining a footing in the first place. My love, which shines on you always, is fearless and does not contain any fear. Sit peacefully in the light of my love, and I will bless you with the peace that shines from within. Your entire existence should be devoted to loving and trusting in me. Have complete faith in me in every aspect of your life. In my kingdom, there is no such thing as fate. When it comes to people who love me, everything that takes place fits into a pattern that is for the better. You should direct your attention and energy toward trusting me and expressing gratitude to me at all times rather than attempting to comprehend the intricate details of the pattern. There is no point in wasting anything when you hang out with me. By virtue of my transformative grace, even your errors and transgressions have the potential to be transformed into something beneficial. Even though you were still dwelling in the shadows, I started to bring the light of my presence into your life, which was tainted by sin before. At long last, I rescued you from the muck and brought you into the splendor of my light. When it comes to every aspect of your life, you can put your faith in me since I have given up my entire life for you. Relax and allow me to guide you through the rest of this day. My control encompasses everything that I have under control. You have a tendency to look excitedly into the day that lies ahead of you, trying to figure out what you should do and when you should do it. While this is going on, the phone calls or the doorbell rings, and at that moment, you have to rearrange your plans. Your attention is diverted away from me by all of that preparation which binds you up in knots. Your attentiveness to me is not only for the times when you are alone, but for every moment of your life. I will show you what to do right now and what to do in the future as you look to me. Obsessive planning is a waste of time and energy that consumes enormous amounts of resources. As soon as you allow me to guide your actions, you are liberated to take pleasure in me and to discover what I have in store for you on this particular day. If I do not provide you with any special direction, you should stay by yourself. Maintain your focus on carrying out the activities of daily living while being conscious of my presence with you. As you perform every action for me, the joy that comes from being in my presence will light upon you. Consequently, you invite me into every facet of your life. To accept it with belief, please type 555. You make it possible for my life to become a part of yours by means of working together with me in everything. In addition to being the key to enjoying a joyous life, this is also the key to living a triumphant life. I fashioned you to be dependent on me in every single moment with the understanding that you are unable to accomplish anything aside from me. Recognize and appreciate the days that are peaceful and appear to be devoid of any noteworthy events. Seek out my face during times of monotony rather than allowing yourself to become bored due to the lack of action. Even though this is a transaction that cannot be seen, 
It has the ability to communicate volumes in spiritual realms. Furthermore, when you walk trustingly with me through the routines of your day, you are greatly rewarded more than you could ever imagine. Relax in the holy presence of my healing presence. While I work to change both your heart and your thinking, remain still. You must let go of your concerns and worries in order to be able to receive my peace. Put an end to your efforts and recognize that I am God. Please do not follow in the footsteps of the Pharisees who created their own version of godliness by multiplying regulations. As a result of becoming so preoccupied with their own regulations, they failed to recognize me. To this day, many individuals are held captive by laws that were created by humans regarding how to live a Christian life. Instead of concentrating on me, they are concentrating on their performance. You will begin to resemble me when you have a deep and personal relationship with me. For this, you will need to spend some time alone with me. Know that I am God, then let go of your grip, relax, and be still. Bring me the sacrifice of your time, which is the most valuable commodity in the world. Because we live in a world that is obsessed with action, very few of my children make the effort to sit quietly in my presence. However, for those who are able to do so, benefits pour forth like rivers of living water. The time that we spend together is also a source of blessing for me, the one who is the source of all benefits. Do not make any attempt to comprehend this. It is a profound mystery. Instead, pleasure in me in order to bring glory to me. Delight in me, both now and forever. Type yes, if you trust Almighty Lord. My dear child, pay attention carefully to the words I talk in your heart today. I'm the Alpha and the Omega, the start and the end, and all of introduction rests inside my arms. But in my boundless love, I draw near to you to whisper words of consolation and encouragement, to remind you of my deep and abiding take care of you. Agree with in me, my valuable one, for your advantages are at the horizon. Trust inside the plans I have woven to your life and recognize that the goodness you are trying to find is on its manner. It is coming at simply the proper time, perfectly suited to meet your private needs. I see every longing of your coronary heart, the desires you deliver, and the burdens that weigh on your shoulders. Now, not a young married one in every of your concerns escapes my loving attention. Recollect, my child, that I'm the God of abundance. My storehouses overflow with benefits beyond your wildest creativeness. I delight in giving good gifts to my children, for I am a beneficial father pouring out from my limitless sources. The benefits I've in keep for you aren't small or insignificant. They're enormously, abundantly in particular you could ask or maybe think. However I ask you to agree with in my timing, my ways are better than your ways and my mind are past your expertise. What can also look like a postponed to you is regularly the careful orchestration of activities, aligning instances, and getting ready hearts for the whole degree of my blessing. Do now not grow weary within the waiting, for individuals who wait upon me will renew their electricity. They'll leap on wings like eagles. They may run and no longer grow weary. They may stroll and no longer faint. Have I no longer promised that I recognize the plans I have for you? Plans to prosper you and not to damage you. Plans to provide you hope and a destiny. Those are not empty phrases, my child, but my solemn vow to you sealed with the bloodshed on Calvary. After I make a promise, I keep it. Heaven and earth might also pass away, but my word stands firm all the time. In times of doubt or discouragement, recollect my faithfulness throughout the a long time. Did I no longer supply my humans from slavery in Egypt? Did I now not part the purple sea and provide manna in the barren region and water from a rock? The identical God who accomplished those potent deeds is your God. I'm unchanging. The equal the day past nowadays and forever. 
What I've achieved before, I'm able to and could do once more. Restoration your eyes not on what is seen, but on what's unseen. For what's visible is brief, but what's unseen is everlasting. The rigors and setbacks you face are but mild and short, term afflictions in comparison to the everlasting weight of glory that awaits you. Do now not lose coronary heart, for I am operating all things together on your accurate, even when you can't understand it. Consider in my wisdom, my baby. I see the cease from the beginning, and I understand what's sincerely best for you. Sometimes, in my love, I withhold what you suspect you need to offer you, what you simply need to offer you, what you simply need. My denial of a request is not a rejection of you, however, instead an expression of my best love. Whilst you do no longer get hold of what you have got asked for, believe that I've something even higher in say. Remember the fact that I am Elroy, the God who sees. I see each tear you cry, every silent prayer uttered within the depths of your coronary heart. I bottle your tears and report your sorrows. Now not an unmarried moment of your pain escapes my notice. For your times of private need, I am closest to you. When you stroll through valley of the shadow of death, I'm proper there beside you, my rod and my body of workers comforting you. Take braveness, knowing that put off isn't denial. What I have promised, I will deliver to bypass. The vision I have given you may simply come to fruition. Although it is able to appear gradual in coming, anticipate it patiently for it's going to absolutely come and will now not postpone past my appointed time. I am no longer a person that I must lie, nor a son of man that I ought to alternate my mind. Have I spoken and will I not act? Have I promised and will I not fulfill? In those seasons of ready, do not be idle. As a substitute, put together your coronary heart and your existence for the fullness of what I am bringing. Draw near to me searching for my face, and rest inside the guarantee of my unchanging love. Recognize that I am with you constantly, guiding your steps and leading you into the abundance of my best plan on your lifestyles. Comment, Lord, always protect me. The benefits I am sending to you are meant to nurture a heart complete of gratitude. Praise me for what I've already done in your lifestyles and for the matters but to return. Permit thankfulness be the inspiration on which your religion turns into strong and unmovable. While you deliver thanks in every state of affairs, you align your heart with my cause, opening yourself up to acquire even extra of my goodness. Trust inside the way I tailor every blessing, specifically on your existence. I understand you intimately. I shaped you for your mom's womb and even recognized the wide variety of hairs in your head. The advantages I have delivered for you aren't standard or one-length suits, all. They're carefully designed to healthy the specific man or woman I created you to be and to meet the special calling I have positioned on your life. What I've in shop for you is some distance more than whatever you could create to your very own. Don't compare your journey with that of others my child. Each of my children walks a direction uniquely crafted by means of my loving hand. The timing and nature of my benefits to your life may range from what I do within the lives of others around you, but trust that I recognize precisely what you want and when you want it. Your existence is not a opposition with others. It is a stunning story I'm writing each day. As you wait for my promises to unfold, do not neglect the prevailing second. Discover pleasure in the journey, for I am with you each step of the way. Search for the small advantages I area along your path each day. The beauty of a sunrise, the kindness of Pal, the peace that comes from my presence. These are not mere coincidences, however love notes from your Heavenly Father, assuring you of my regular care. Draw near me on this season, my loved, searching for my face usually. As you remain in me and my phrases continue to be in you, you will endure a lot fruit. The nearer you live to me, the extra definitely you'll hear my voice and apprehend my steerage. 
In my presence, you will locate fullness of joy, and at my right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Allow our communion be your highest priority and finest delight. Remember, my baby, that my blessings aren't restrained to fabric wealth. Even as I do take pleasure in meeting your bodily wishes, my richest advantages are non-secular. I provide you peace that surpasses all expertise, pleasure that is beyond phrases and full of glory, and love that casts out all fear. I come up with expertise for life selections, electricity for each day's challenges, and desire that anchors your soul. In case you experience the need for my presence, do now not hesitate to proportion this message with others, allowing them to also bask within the divine mild of our Heavenly Father. The treasures of my kingdom a long way exceed any earthly riches. As you agree within me, I'm able to make your righteousness shine like the dawn and the justice of your reason, just like the noonday sun. Devote your manner to me, trust in me, and I can act for your behalf. Be still earlier than me and wait patiently for me to paintings. Do not worry while evidently others prosper of their own approaches or carry out their wicked schemes. For evildoers may be cut off. However, individuals who desire in me will inherit the land. I'm operating even now, backstage, orchestrating activities and aligning situations to your right. My hand is not too short to save, nor is my ear too heavy to listen. I am capable of do some distance greater than you can ever ask or assume, in keeping with the energy at paintings within you. Not anything is too tough for me. Nothing is beyond my attain. Take coronary heart, my child, for I am the God of breakthrough. Simply as I parted the Jordan River for my humans to move into the promised land, so I am able to component the seas of impossibility before you. What looks like an insurmountable obstacle to you is, however, a small factor to me. I satisfaction in displaying my electricity on behalf of people who position their trust in me. Whilst you face the pink sea of your situations, do no longer worry. Stand company and witness the salvation I can give you the results you want nowadays. Remember the fact that postpone frequently serves as training. In seasons of waiting, I am operating deeply for your character, cultivating patience, perseverance, and reliance on me. Those instances of seeming state of being inactive are regularly whilst I'm maximum lively on your life, shaping you into the picture I desire you to be. Trust in my timing, for I recognize what is great for you. I'm shaping you to mirror the photo of Christ, reworking you from one stage of glory to any other. Don't lose heart in doing what's proper due to the fact in due time. You'll reap a bountiful harvest in case you preserve on and don't give up. Preserve moving forward, keep believing, and keep following my word. Your efforts in me are by no means wasted. Even when the fig tree doesn't blossom and the vines don't undergo fruit, whilst the olive harvest fails and the fields yield no meals, while the sheep pen is empty and there's no cattle in the stalls, still you may discover joy in me and rejoice within the God of your salvation. For I, the Sovereign Lord, am your strength. Take courage in understanding that I'm fighting for you. You simplest need to be still. When you pass through the waters, I might be with you. When you bypass through the rivers, they may no longer sweep over you. When you stroll through the fireplace, you may no longer be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze, for I'm the Lord your God, the holy considered one of Israel, your Savior. Agree with inside the electricity of my spoken word, for simply as I spoke the universe into existence, so my phrases have the power to create and remodel your existence. What I declare over you will sincerely come to skip. I have said, which you are extra than a conqueror via Christ, who loves you. I've proclaimed that no weapon fashioned toward you shall prosper. I've decreed that what the enemy supposed for damage, I'm able to flip around to your desirable. Stand firm on these promises, for they may be your solid and unshakable basis. Recognize that I'm El Shaddai, God Almighty, the All-Sufficient One. There is no need that I cannot meet, no problem. 
I cannot clear up. No scenario, I cannot clear up. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weak point. While you sense vulnerable, recognize that during me, you are robust, for my power is perfected to your dependence on me. As you await my guarantees to be fulfilled, domesticate a heart of worship. Praise me no longer only for what I have finished or what I will do, but for who I am. Allow your existence be a dwelling sacrifice of praise to me. As you lift me up, I will elevate you up. As you enlarge me, your problems will appear smaller in contrast. Worship is a powerful weapon against discouragement and doubt. Write, I love you, Jesus, if you believe. Attention listener, join this prayer with me and say it with me. Please, good and gracious God, shower me with your rich blessings while I work to determine the cause of this rash. We don't know what I'm allergic to, but my doctor believes it's an allergic reaction. I'm having an examination done, but I won't get the results right away. Please assist in getting answers to this. I'm over this horrible rash that covers my entire body. Please give me the patience I need to wait for responses. Use this opportunity to help me develop my virtue. During this time, may my heart be receptive to the ways you are calling me to grow. Lord, please make my skin clear. The Bible records Jesus healing people repeatedly. Therefore, I have faith that if you are willing, you will heal me as well. Since you are the greatest healer, could you please advise me on how to get rid of this rash completely? I trust that whatever occurs is in your will, even if I am aware that my prayers aren't always answered the way I would like. Please assist me in finding meaning in this pain in the interim. I understand that this pain serves as a chance to exalt you. Your son went through so much mental and physical pain. This rash pales in comparison to his sufferings. I am grateful for his holy suffering example. I ask in your name. Amen. Please share this video three people.